Welcome back to another DKM Plush Fighter interview. I'm joined by Pretty Boy George. George, first of all, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. I'm great. Thank you. Perfect. Obviously, the reigning champion. Uh, you've got a big fight coming up next week. How have preparations gone for this fight? Yeah, preparations are good. Um, working on my fitness as always. Uh, doing a lot of running, boxing. Um, yeah, can't complain. Never can complain. So, yeah, going, going well. So obviously this is your seven, seven fights in total and this is what I believe your third outing with DKM Plush. Oh, fourth. Apologies. Fourth outing with uh, DKM Plush. Um, what does it mean to you to be champion? Does it give you that extra bit of um, uh, motivation needed uh, to, to go that extra mile in the gym? To be honest with you, I'm always, I've always got the motivation to continue fighting and fighting hard. I'm doing this for a cause that is beyond boxing beyond everything else. I started this um, because my mum was ill with cancer and passed away um, in 2020. Um, she was the reason why I started boxing in the first place in 2019. Um, and yeah, um, for my own mental health, and to keep myself um, focused, I have to, I have to do this. So whether it's fighting on a show or not, I'm I'm in the gym or I'm in, I'm on I'm on this planet working working for myself every time. So tell us a little bit more about what's what's kind of gone. On. I know you mentioned there but that you, your mother passing away um, a couple of years ago. Sorry for your loss there, pal. Uh, but what what in what? What's come off the back of that? I, I know somebody mentioned off camera that there was a charity involved. Okay, so yeah, so um, I'll try and make this sweet as short as sweet because uh, it's a long, long story. But um, in 2018, I lost everything in my life. Um, I lost access to my son. I was battling drug and alcohol addictions. Um, lost my job. Got done for drink driving. Uh, my mom got diagnosed with cancer. Um, in 2019, I quit drinking. Started boxing, uh, my mum had an operation to remove her pancreas, um, but sadly a year later she passed. Um, I had given up boxing at that, at that time in my life, um, I was two and a half years sober and then last April, June I started drinking again and I got back into boxing to to escape going down the wrong road again in life and um, I'd done four fights in like 10 months um, which was just keeping me focused in that time I also started my own charity called the Maxine Schwartz Foundation which is named after my mum uh, my mum was one of the icons of my community my mum was very good with children she was a child minder she was working with um, disabled children in a school before she passed um, i've learned in within myself that i am put on this earth to help others and share my experiences to to help others that are battling addictions about battling just staying alive really so my what I'm actually starting to do is this Maxine Schwartz Foundation, which I named it maybe about five, six months ago. I've raised just under £2,000 for it, um, which I'm, once I register it as a proper charity, I'm planning to start something which will allow children to go after school from like 3.30 to 8, give, kids rest, um, give parents respite, where kids can come and learn real life skills, learning um, how to, if they want to be a barber, they could be there at 13 years old learning to cut hair. If they want to be a boxer, they're there boxing. If they want to, whatever they want to do in life, real life stuff, we can, we can learn. And a place for people to feel safe outside of school, talk about problems. I've got, I've had a few, a lot of problems that I've held in and demons I've held in from a young age. So I want to be able to push children to be able to speak about those demons other than like me who kept it in their head for the last 30 years so so yeah well that's a really good message that you're pushing there George and it's trying to inspire our youth to uh, do something great with their lives in regards to your opponent uh, on final do you know much about him um, I know that he's had a couple of fights uh, I think maybe with uh, DK and Plush um, I think maybe he's had a few other f fights to be honest with you I made a mistake on my second fight in watching another fighter and making assumptions about how hard he hits and, and, and things like that. And then to, to take that first punch in the face and go, oh, actually, he does hit pretty hard. So 
I'll know, I don't watch other people's fights. I just make sure I'm doing what I can do outside of the ring. And whatever I bring to the night, win or lose, I know I'm putting everything into that fight. And I walk away knowing that I've done my best. So that's 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 all I that's all I can do really. So it doesn't matter what they, what they bring in. I'm gonna bring my A game, and that's all that matters. Perfect. It's a perfect place to kind of finish up. Before we do, if you take a look straight into that camera there, and uh, just uh, give a little message to your fans and supporters that'll be turning out on fight night. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone that supported me for my previous six fights. Thank you for the continued support from everybody. Thank you to the people that have put money into the Maxine Schwartz Foundation. I really do appreciate it. I'm really grateful. And I'm going to continue working hard and pushing hard and fighting hard to give you guys what you lot are paying for. So thank you very much. Well, George, thanks for speaking to us and we'll see you on fight night. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, thank man.